Hello, my name is Summer Farrelly and my socials are on the slide. If you use my resources, I ask that I'm acknowledged for my work and creations. Thank you. A uh, quick disclaimer, this presentation is from my personal perspective as an autistic individual. My own personal experiences and perspectives are not a representation of all autistic experiences. Uh, so I do a workshop um, for students and teachers and what works for me is an individualized support pro uh, profile that's part of it. So I speak to the students about um, developing an understanding of their needs within the classroom and how to advocate for that. And I talk to the teachers about how best to actually support those students. So the next few slides are based on my personal classroom needs, which will differ through everybody. So uh, my triggers are things like change without warning, uncomfortable clothing, not being able to finish tasks, yelling and angry voices, and feeling misunderstood. And then there's the types of learning, the learning styles. So there's visual learners, which learn through pictures and images, tactile and kinesthetic learners, which learn through physically doing or drawing or writing out words. And then there's also auditory and verbal learners. They might learn through saying words back or listening. Then there's social and solidarity learning. So learning in a group and well, self-explanatory learning alone. And there's karma. So personally, things that calm me down are fidgets, taking a short walk or rest, having time to refocus and reading. My strengths, which don't have to be academic on this list, being a good sibling, working with numbers, connecting with animals, and being responsible. And challenges, things like spelling, group work, overthinking situations, and slow processing. And there's negotiations and boundary sections. So, for example, a negotiation is I can finish my work in my own time as long as I finish it before next lesson, whether that's doing it during lunchtime or taking it home to complete it. And 100% student input in things like this isn't, isn't what teachers think it is. It's about empowering and it's about self-advocacy and it's about the student actually learning about themselves. The ne negotiation would be written and agreed upon by everybody. And that's signed off even. So that makes sure everybody's actually on the same page, even like a relief teacher who's only in for a day. And it's providing a constant across teaching and the expectations. More examples are I can signal to my teacher districtly to indicate that I'm starting to feel overwhelmed, whether that's just a small hand signal. And if the teacher nods, I can, for example, leave the room to get a drink. And then the card can be set out something like this or however you prefer to. Thank you for listening and I hope you learned something. Bye.